Yeah, such a young officer filled with so much joy and passion for the job. His former chief of police saying every agency should have at least 100 Adam Jobbers Millers ready to serve as he did. And after seeing that beautiful tribute inside this arena here behind me, it is very clear that his momentous sacrifice will never be forgotten. They traveled in droves with badges held high and uniforms of different colors, but they came together as one for a final goodbye. He's a hero in our eyes, of course. Officer Adam Jobbers Miller served less than three years on the Fort Myers police force, but his brothers say it didn't take long for him to make an impact. It's a hard job already. And it was clear as one by one, each man and woman bowed their heads and held their hearts. It, it was very touching. I mean, very professional. Everybody was in step, so it was, it was nice to see. A community touched by his story and his tragic death. That's like another brother. I'm teared out already. Former Marine Cindy Fernandez didn't know of Jobbers Miller until his passing, but says that doesn't matter. It's kind of hard sometimes to repay them back, and this is the least we can do to stand here and make sure everybody sees that we, we support them. They're hand in hand with these people, and, and they become family. So his family, friends, and brothers in blue stood in silence for the final call. Fort Myers to five two four, Officer Adam Jobbers Miller. The men and women of the Fort Myers Police Department are forever grateful and proud to have served with Officer Jobbers Miller, and we will never forget his loyalty and dedication. Now, Jobbers Miller's family was given the American flag that was draped over his casket. You saw there after that ceremony, and as you saw, they were also able to lay roses next to his casket before heading to the funeral home where he will be cremated. Live outside Jermaine Arena tonight, I'm Nicole Valdez, Wink News Now.